Hello, I'm the Bento Buster at Kiwi in Japan, and today I'm going to show you make waffle fries. Making perfect waffle fries actually isn't that difficult. In fact, there's not much to it at all, and once you know the steps, you can make waffle fries to your heart's content. And I found Ethan Lebovsky's method pretty darn good, so I'm going to do that. Now, you're going to need one of these, a waffle fry cutter with a corrugated blade. You don't find them in the shops every day, and I actually had to get mine from Amazon. Check out the link below. This monster of a waffle cutter is perfect, because it gives you a nice, thick, Cut. Once you've sliced the potato like this, turn it on its side and slice it again, and you will have a waffle fry. This waffle fry cutter is a type of mandolin, and they can be very dangerous. So if you are prone to cutting off your fingers, please use a safety attachment. It's best to be safe than to be called Mr. Waffle Fingers. Anyway, let's look at these waffle fries. Don't they look fantastic? Yes! And thanks to that beast of a waffle fry cutter, you can make a ton of them in no time at all. The next step is to boil the potatoes for 8 minutes. To the water, add a dash of vinegar and some salt, then in go the potatoes. And remember what I said, once your potatoes are all in the pool, boil them for 8 minutes. Now some of you may think this method is laborious, but don't skip any of the steps because the final product is worth the wait. And if you are impatient and skip some of these steps, then you'll end up with a floppy waffle fry. And nobody wants that. Okay, the eight minutes are up, so now it's time to get all of these out of the pool and dry them off. Placing them in a wire rack will help that steam and water evaporate. All this steam kind of reminds me of a Japanese onsen. Anyway, let's dry these guys off. When your waffle fries are nice and dry, it's time to flash fry them for 60 seconds. At 180 degrees centigrade, which is about 275 Fahrenheit. And after one minute, remove them from the oil and allow them to cool some paper towels. Okay, all the hard work's done. Now you have an option to fry them now or to fry them later. If you are going to have them later, pat them down with some paper towels to remove the oil. Then bag them up and put them in the freezer until you're ready to have them. And if you are going to have them now, then heat up that wok because we're going to fry these a second time. Oh, and by the way, give your fries about five minutes to rest on a wire rack, then pop them in the pot. Fry at 180 degrees Celsius until they're golden and crispy. And when they're ready, they should look something like this. They should be waffly, golden and crispy. Also gnarly and delishimo. All right, now it's time to plate these up, shake some salt on them and eat them. Ta-da! Am I at Chick-fil-A? No, I'm at the Bento Buster HQ. And these are my waffle fries. And because I followed Ethan's steps, these turned out awesome. You've got to admit there's something about waffle fries. They're nostalgic and they're fun to eat. They're 100% waffly and just fun to eat. Waffle fries have tons of surface area that's golden and crispy on the outside and lovely and soft on the inside. Absolutely perfect. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Oh, and if you like what you see, then like and subscribe.